Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dwarven Reavers. In the last one, we allied with Foran March and took a chunk out of Bjarnrek. They suck, so winning, you know? Yeah, so we are slowly working on getting trolls to be accepted so I can make them my military. I believe, even now. Yes, they are at exactly 30% right now, so that's good. I would like to have a troll military, but simply they are not integrated. That's really all I'm missing. Tragic. Cause, we're, But we're working on it. Orcs and trolls, we're working on it. If we look over here, they're at 39%. Soon be able to change that soon. Innovativeness, I'll... Mm, yeah, it's fine. What's that? Ah, that's what I just got. Uh, yes, we can repay that loan. We can repay the small, no small loans. Very cool. Love seeing that. Yeah, we got a good amount of money out of this war. Not as much as I would have liked. Bron March kind of took the lead on that, but eh, it is what it is. Crazy how gray orcs are accepted, and yet, and yet, what do we got here? Which one? Military tech has until the end of the year. Is it worth taking the military tech? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes, it is. I'm fine with that. Adventech, less so. I think I'd rather grab the idea. Mm. I'll grab the idea for now. However, it is totally worthless to me as of, as of this moment, because I cannot see any trade nodes. In fact, give me that one. And these are the adventure ideas. Call to Reclamation. The fall of Kogdir in 1424 was a stark reminder of what the dwarves lost eons ago to the orcish and goblin hordes. The breaking of the green tide in 1443, however, was a rallying cry to the dwarves of Kanor. Scions of lost holds, cartels, great families, even famous individuals, no matter the dwarf, all are kin of Belgar, all are kin of Dagrin Everbeard, and all have been roused to action. It is time to return to our mountain homelands and and reclaim what our ancestors built. Yeah, except we're not doing that. We're doing something else. Uh, but manpower, manpower and true faith. Really nice. Fabricated? Uh, okay. Scald, Scald's Cola is being dumb. That's fine. Let's grab this one. And then I have one more claim to do. Captain dies of old age. Okay, we'll wait on that one. Um, what do we want? Fan Ooh. Yeah, uh, we're gonna hold off on that one. This is forest? Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, but I think money. I think money's gonna be a bit better on that one. Where is the money, 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 that one? Cool. Yeah, we're gonna just let him sit as long as he can. How old is he? 197. He made it pretty well. We're good on stability? Cool. They're coming. Hopefully they'll... This should be fine. This should be fine. You give me the tech. I believe I should be able to steal maps now. Steal maps? Yes, I am able to steal maps now. That is the next one. Pay the loan. Alright, we need an heir. I'm gonna say, give me a adventure captain. Yep. Pay the loan. Oh, that is exactly average. Okay, I'll, I'll take it, I guess. Alright. So, uh, which, who do I want? I could do Corin, but I think the admin points are going to be worth a lot more than that. It's just, admin points are just that good. Eventually we'll go back to Bulgar. But that's not for now. Hmm. The dame's also really nice. Production efficiency and idea cost. Maybe later. We'll use castles so we can, because just... Monthly mana is just really good. Alright, there's the cores. You get to be a state. And then everyone gets to do this very soon. Alright, very cool. 
And you guys get to do this first. Alright, who is 6, 8, 4? You are first. Congratulations. It'll take a while, but we'll do it. Points about official. Uh, there goes the devotion. Statesman's dead. Take this one, then. Still making money. I need, I think, five guys. I'm going to say seven. Let's do seven. Grab me a general. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's time for the next colony. Is Vorin March colonizing? Yes, they are, which means we need to start pushing out this way, too. Oh, they set his pop up right there. Cool. Nice. All right. You have served your purpose. You may drill. You're over here. And we are losing. Eh, we're rebuilding army right now. That's what's happening. Trail instruction. Ah, trolls. A peasant has been granted an audience to the captain and begs us to assist the villages of his region against the local trolls. Weary-eyed, the farmer describes a scenario of utter chaos. Toppled enclosures, stomped crops, shattered fruit trees, and ramshackled gardens, all due to the movement and occasional feeding of a significant group of native trolls, who have the inhabitants in the area on the verge of grabbing torches and pitchforks. Although the peasant clearly implies the need for a forceful approach, some academics in court plead us to consider a more diplomatic solution. Since these trolls are not wild, they could be explained the error of their ways to reach a solution satisfactory to both parties, if only we were patient with the specimens. Very patient. So definitely doing that in Greenhold. That's too bad, because that's where a lot of my money is coming from, which means I get to click that button and that one. Okay. Making money again? Are we actually making money with this? Barely. What, what is going on? Yes, we are. Influenza. Fine. It's rather annoying, but fine. That should actually make me make slightly money. Yes. Very good. Foreign March is going that way instead of the orcs. Yeah, I'm missing that, but I really do need that so I can start making money. So I can actually use my merchants. You know? Because, ugh. Come on. Bandits. Bandits are thugs and criminals that roam the countryside, preying on the weak to make themselves rich for the fun of it. Born from bad times like poor economy and war, a prominent band of bandits have made themselves known in Silverborg. Cool. Okay. Ooh, we're almost there. Alright, map time. Give me... Giant Grave C. Alright, that should be two merchants I can use. I can use three merchants. Alright. Because of our situation, all of them get to go and collect. It's just how it is. That's just how it is. They're all going to make absolutely nothing. Yeah, those two are going to make nothing because I can't do anything with this node anyway. Because I do not see any of the nodes that feed into it. Hey, yeah, make it slightly more. I'll take it. Bjarnrik has rivaled me. Of course I have. The other one is Vorn's March, which I will not rival. I refuse. That is not going to happen. New level professionalism. Nice. Profiteering. The citizens of Oxenby have grown tired of the local influence of greedy reach, reach period merchants that they claim are using unfair advantages to outcompete local businesses. They demand we set up, step in to limit the influence of foreign traders on the area reaffirm the privileges of our own merchants and artis and artisans. If we do not, they might take matters into their own hands. Check trade or not. Um uh, Reach Spear. I don't really care who I don't really care about them. In which province? Oxenbate. Uh Yeah, right now trade power is probably better. Just because, you know, that trade success. Cool. Our merchant class is enjoying uncanny success around the world. Some say just random luck, but we care not. Wealth is wealth, regardless of how we come by it. Very cool. I'll take that. What do we got here? 
See, firearm regiment. Uh, I don't have the money. Choose with Bavix done. That's fine. How fast is it going? 50. Nice. Should I do this? A fort? I don't even have any forts. <laughs> Come on. Uh. All right. Chillin, colonizing the Arctic, profiteering once again. Uh, which one? This is where I thought it was. That's where I thought it was. Everworth, whatever. Okay, with that many, that's pretty good. Got some separatists coming up right there. We'll wait on that to get actually to actually get bad before I step in. Venture speak bandits, very cool. All right. He seems to be bad now. All right. Got one more claim to grab here. We'll do that in a bit. This is time. Cool. I can do a courthouse. Don't need to. Don't need to. I know courthouse does something other than governing capacity. I forget what it is. It's autonomy change. That's another reason it's really good. All right, that's good. Very cool, very cool. All right, last claim. Actually, I think I can grab that down there. Native's not assisting. Well, there goes my money. That's fine. We've got a war. Is it you? No? Is it the gnomes? What is going on here? I can't even see the parties at war. How fast are these guys going? 45 a year. I'm going slightly faster. But they have two colonists, and I don't. <laughs> eh. Trail of Destruction, once again. Let's be nice. How are they looking? Okay, coexisting. Love to see it. Love to see it. Soon. Soon we'll have that troll military. No one will be able to stand in our way. We are very far ahead on that. Very good. The shock damage, please. Thank you. Yeah, we're just going to work on stealing maps after this. Don't particularly care about the island right now. I really just want to steal maps. Yep, repay the loan. We are slowly getting through these loans. Woo! Slowly, slowly, slowly. I got the admin points. Let's bump that. Keep that under control. Colonial expansion for glory and gold, of course. It would seem that our harsh treatment of the forest trolls, forest troll people living in Oxenby, has paid off in a massive way. Forcing those primitives off their rich, fertile soil has created new opportunities for our settlers to take their place. And our colonial companies have already begun exploiting the ancestral land of the forest troll. But they frequent financial aid to complete the construction of the new settlement. That means one loan. I get a loan, and it goes a lot faster, so easily. That's fine. That's really not a problem. Ah! They found my spies. Boo. Yeah, this be nice. So now I'll have two provinces to get that done. Uh, definitely we're doing siege ability. I will kill them all. I will destroy them all. No one can stop me. That's not an option. General Hospital, of course. I'm gonna keep that going. Profiteering? Uh, sure. Nimscod can suck it, too. That's a new one. Nimscod. And there's Oxenbay. Very cool. Let's get this right there. I'm actually going to go over here, too. Let's keep moving. Says what? 4,000 also? Okay. That's not so bad. Let's dev this up just a bit, too. I'm going to say less, though. Yeah, you're only 14 dev, whereas you're up to 18. Right, the trolls. That should be helping. Yes, I am making money. I do like making money. They want cash. No. What? That's mine. I need that. I'm in serious debt. Can't you tell? 
Okay, we've got five years before I'm going to start debbing the institution here. I can turn off when it's time. Da -da 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 -da, and 12. That's fine. How much debt are we in now? 300. We're slowly getting it down. Love to see it. Oh, cool. Recruitment time's down. And look at that. Got a conversion in. Next is going to be you. 111 months. It's a really long time. Is that on? Lord. It takes a long time to convert these guys, but... Oh! That's what happened. We're able to see everything. Wow. That's an unusual one. The high philosophy guys managed to come over. Yeah. Uh, I thought I saw Syed on there. I did. Sigdur's doing fine. That looks like Shadow Dreamer. Yep, the Shadow Dreamer. Okay. Marblehead. That's better than usual. Tungir. This is bad. Laurent is being normal. It's so sad that Gwed just always dies. Like, look at this war. This war looks even. And it's just not in the slightest. It is not even in the slightest. It's so sad. Wish there were better. I'm sorry, what? I know of this island. Port Nom's taking it. EO Chant. Their name is EO Chant right now. In the new, in the, I was watching the uh, live stream the other day. The dev class for Anbanar. They changed the name to Port Nom, which honestly makes more sense. Uh, let's see. This guy's really expand. That's a little weird. I mean, Vor and March games in general are weird. Huh. Where's Lemo's deer? Good for them. They'll say, uh, close on? Yeah. Close and odd. This is Rail Skulker. Oh, it's Mountain Shark. Oh, okay. Harpoon exists. Someone. Ooh. Is that a Holds Accord? Time will tell. That is a Gorbarod. That's an Argord stun. That's a Udval Ludum. That looks like a Gorbarod. You don't see that one too often. Who's this? Company of the Grudge Bearers. Looks like they're going to form uh, Gore Ossenbrog. That's also a rare one. Okay. Jadari's alive. Zaka's alive. Jadari and Zaka are both alive. That's a weird one. What a strange world. Hmm. Orcs one. Ah! Dwarves one. Good for them. Good for them. They'll be my friend long term. But not right now. I have other issues at hand. <laughs> really, we don't see these three provinces. Okay. Orc refugees from Brave Brothers. You know what? We're actually going to let them in. We are going to be nice to the orcs. Because, one, uh, free base production. 50% chance. Didn't get it. Two, orcs need to be happy. Because we're going to inherit a lot of orcs when we eventually take these guys over. So, while we're waiting on this stuff, I suppose I can talk about the goals of this campaign. Orcs from Vorin March. Ah, that's what I figured would happen. So, goals for this campaign. Troll Minister. Ah, uh, yes. True exemplar of their community. Is it time? Not yet. So, main goal. I would like to grab... Uh, where is it? All of Grudy, which is Dalar, Grudy and Coast, and Atlantic Reach. Those shall belong to me directly. And then every island that is on the continent of Kanor. So I believe Nathalair is the furthest east. And then Dame's Head stuff. Uh, Vanale's island. Vanale. Even Lonely Island over here. <laughs> oh, did they get kicked out? Well, that's an interesting way for that to happen. All that stuff needs to be mine. Because we're going to raid. We're going to raid good. This looks like Solar Forge is alive and Ruby Holds alive. None of the dwarves have died. Over here, at least. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Just a few years, we should be able to see some stuff. I'm going to hold off on that loan, actually. I wish I didn't have to, but I kind of do. I'm not making money anymore. I wonder what happened. Oh, I think I know what happened. That probably helps. Definitely helped. Definitely helped. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have realized that I no longer need to um find them for maps. Do I? I already have all the maps that I need. Eventually we'll need boats, but uh, we'll get boats when I have money. Because, oh my goodness, we're really scrounging for cash. Even though this is a very nicely big province. Big old city in the middle of the wood. In the middle of the Arctic forest. You know? It's just how it is. Just how it is. Poor Gawad. Poor Gawad. Corruption! <sighs> how close are we on this? Oh, we're five off. Gross. It's because it's just not worth it. You get... Because you just need to get through this as fast as you can. It's just not worth it. We're ahead of time on stabs. So it's fine. 129. Hmm, not bad. That's really not bad for a dwarf. That is one less than usual, in fact. Green scale popped out. That's crazy. Orcs just let men. Treat on natural philosophy. Yes, please. Taxes. Thank you. It'll pop up. We get a single boost on this yet. We got one. I see. Okay. We got two more years for that. I suppose we'll just keep buying on. I might as well. Or we look on favors. A lot. Let's get your trust up. Yes, I'll I'll take I'll take the thirty four crowns. I'll I'll need that. After that is trust. After that is trust. Got one more that I can do for trust. Very cool. All right, here's the next one. I can either do for a dwarf band can use, but with reduced effects and land the shock and recover army speed, or I can do treasure for forefathers, which is monthly autonomy change and global prosperity growth. I don't think I can do Purge Warband on Fjernrak. I wonder if I would have been able to do it on Frozen Law. That would have been interesting. Higher chance to find gold and mithril when colonizing. Is there even a chance to find gold up here? I believe over here there's gold. Yes, there's gold here. There's gold here. I suppose. The autonomy change is pretty nice, and the prosperity is also pretty nice, though. So, sure. I suppose is what we'll do. If I find gold, I'll be very happy, because I can just dev that and be like, ooh, money, money, money. Is there any gold over here at all? No. There's only gold up there. And you can get it through an event up here. Or maybe that's only the trolls. Anyway, we'll slowly get back into the servant's spine. But I really just want Northern Pass. Maybe Crackdom area. It works. So then it's fine. I want them to be integrated. Oh, Birth of Colonialism. Wonderful. That doesn't mean it's time, though. Only one off on that. Let's go for getting this dev first. It's already really good. Good. You're off. Okay. Let's... Look then, let's do it. Well, got a lot of it. Ooh, let's do this while it's cheap. Uh, ship boarding, because we're going to be pirates. I mean, that's my favorite one anyway, but we're going to be pirates, so we really should be doing that. I'm going to sell the institution to you when it's time. You can get spied on. 95. The truce is done, but we're not quite ready yet. How are we looking tech-wise? We're 8. They're also 8. Okay, that's not so bad. How are we looking at force limit? I can get 23. Wow. In fact, let's grab a loan for that. Three. Let's do that. Profiteering. Sure, sounds good. Works. Let him in. 
Not integrated yet. Bribes growing more accepted. Great. Let's turn that down to normal. Does not need to be that high. Green slave trade. Cool. Tell Siege Bower. Phew, that's not good. Trade tech. Yes, please. Let's grab that. Fort maintenance. Um, I don't have forts, so whatever. How are we looking on this? It's doing fine. We have just a couple clicks left on this. It was worried. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Really do. Really appreciate that one, game. Like, come on. Come on. Colonial expansion. Uh, glory and gold. Just give me. Fine. Give me the stab. Now I gotta wait a bit longer. It's dumb. Yep. Need to get fully cored later. We'll deal with you in a bit. We're going to kill them. You're not getting my money. I need it. One more click. Just one more click. Mirror of Castellar. Right, we actually care about this. Alright. News from Alien Tear has arrived. Spread widely by the Order of Chroniclers and proclaimed by Telemite criers in every major town. In a ruined Precursor Temple, a mural with chilling implications. A scene of utter destruction and ruin. A great fireball rising from the middle of a continent, raining stone and lightning down onto the land. Off to one side, a man is seen descending from the clouds. He wields a scepter in one hand and is extending his other arm in an effort to contain the explosion, lightning streaking towards him as he does so. The extended arm terminates in a stump instead of a hand, and a great silver cloak covers his left side and partially obscures his missing leg. The artist's inscriptions have been partially translated, and our scholars believe they label this figure Castellar, God of the Sky, and the explosion is denoted simply as the end. The documents of discovery and rubbings of the murals are widespread across Kanor, and are spreading like a wildfire through the scholarly halls and elite circles of Halkon. In Laurentane and Gawatown, on the coast in Kelmaldor, and even in the ruins of Castanath, the rumors are starting to swirl. The Precursor Elves saw Castellus die, and wrote down what they saw, so we would know. Uh, yeah, so what else does Alan Terra have to reveal? I really need the points. Actually, Mystery Strength is probably good right now. I'll take the Mystery Strength. I will take the Missionary Strength on that. Cool. Kesselus is not dead yet. This should be good to go kill them. I can kill them on my own. But I want for unmarked stealth anyway. Cool. Should do that very soon. Hmm. Is it worth provoking them? Yes, it is. I can take them easy. Alright, very cool. And last click. 109. Very cool. How much does it cost? 300. I will get that in this war. I will destroy them and their bloodline. Alright. Let's do this. Bjarn Rick. It is time. I want this one. Oven Cup. Very cool. Let's go. You guys get my claims, please. And you can grab that one, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot. Well, those guys are dead. I got greedy, of course. Alright, that's fine. My siege? Good. I got too greedy. That's too bad. Again! Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to be greedy anymore. Alright, cool. I lost three guys to my simple greed. Not losing anymore. Yep. Everything's going to be fine. They're moving in. Let's get the fort. Heathens in high places. Um. Nah, whatever. 
Join me, please. Whose turn now? No. Oh, really gross. Tech difference? Tech 8, tech 8. No. That's weird. I wonder what that's about. Good harvest? I will take the... Ooh, I'm in Blizzard good too. I need the cash. I need the cash pretty bad. Oop, that's an alarm going off. Don't worry about that. It's completely different. Um, Estial. No, just be nice. I'm not quite ready yet. Yeah, can you, like, be nice to me? And they got the siege. Of course they did. My siege? Yes. Mm, is it worth it? Yes. There's 100 guys there. Easy. All right. We're good. Let's go get them. Yes, just needed the numbers. Wonderful. Just needed the numbers. All right, we're moving forward now. Orcs in Vorin March. Or from Voron March. This is in Mick. Nah, I just... I need the tolerance first. Orcs are going to be here. We're going to live with them. We are casting aside the old grudges and uh, forming new grudges. <laughs> How are we at 16%? That's crazy. Are they having like massive they're having massive fights down in foreign march okay that, that, that makes sense they're being dumb is it worth i think it is oh they're coming up to my capital modernization of the forts um sure forts no longer look as if they would crumble before our eyes they are now sturdy enough to not with to withstand most attacks to their walls their defenses although now functional and impressive despite their age are still lacking in comparison to other nations forts we would need to dig deep into the pockets of our taxpayers in order to be able to fund the upgrades and modernization of forts they sorely need sure they really are just coming around huh yeah thanks for dealing with my rebels doofus your pay the loan is fine oh he doesn't want to... He's sad. He doesn't want to fight me. I will take that fight. Because Vorenmarch is coming to help me. Very cool. 45%. Not quite there yet. Still at 82. That's crazy. They got rid of the Fort in Vorenmarch. That's... Revolve Vorin. Great. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Next. Yep, yeah, let's keep it going. Everything's gonna be just fine. Next fort. Siege it. Take him down. You're at medium, but you are also at medium. They do not want out of this war yet. I'm going to full siege it. Adventurous find treasure! Give me money. Yes. Rejoice. A group of adventurers have returned with a haul of treasure and an excellent tale to boot. They've handed the spoils as per our company code. What do we do with reward? Uh, mine. Not good. Bad. Mine. Loans. Uh, number one, this. Number two, Vorin March. Do you want to buy it from me? Because you're going to get it soon anyway. <laughs> no. Next is loans. Yay! Loans are gone. That's all I needed. Woo! We take those. We take those. That's a win for me. Alright, next fort down. How are they doing over there? Not so great. Troll minister. Do it. Are they integrated? No. Hmm. They are on low. 
Let's have half you guys come up there and go deal with that. The rest are going to... No, 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 no. We're going to send the cannon up with them. Then you guys get to go deal with this stuff. We're going to do a carpet siege. Yay. That's the most fun kind. Okay. Is anything happening over there? Uh, no. Let's grab that fort as fast as we can. It needs to go. It's a mountain fort. I don't like it. And last of these. Religious uproar. That's fun. According to the governor of Nogvasol, the citizens are in an uproar because of our missionaries' complete lack of respect for any religious practices or traditions different from their own. He's asking us to consider canceling all further missionary activities in the area really send some more troops until things calm down a bit. Free troop. Sure. I'll take a free I'll take a free unit. I'm not opposed to that right now. Yeah, I think we're just gonna win this easy. Cause the fool has decided that it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. I'm going to leave these two to go deal with them. You can come deal with that over here. Yeah, it looks great. Ah, Bavik. Bavik can get out. Bavik, get out. I'm still only at 15%, even though I'm the one that's seizing them down. Crazy. Oh, poor Bavik. 99%. Look at that. I want to ruin all your prosperity, though. Yeah. Let's go ruin it even more. Sounds great. Is it tech time? No. I spent all my points on this. <laughs> Loot their capital, please. Alright, I specifically want my claims. And I'll grab that one too. Alright, that's 56. How much money you got? Uh, actually, I don't want your cash because I'm not getting any of it. I'm getting 100. That's gross. I did this war. It's fine. Um, pillage, don't care. Humiliate, I'll probably take that over this. Eh. If we look at cultures... Look at cultures. I think I'll just take the rest of the olive, olive, lun, olive, olavish lands. There we go. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. That's the rest of the olavish lands. The rest of my region. I don't want anything else. I don't have any boats yet. That's the thing. I think this should be fine. I'm going to claim some of their land over here at least. And then... No land, just basic. Look at that. Uh, nice. All right, you guys come over here. Tech, it's... Sadly not time, because I gotta click this button first. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Ooh, I'm a great power now, look at that! Ooh, hello. Great power, number... Where am I? Number seven, because I have colonialism and no one else does. Alright, but it looks like this episode went a little long. I hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time.